It's nice and warm in here anyway. <laughs> right guys, who wants to kick us off? Dan? Yeah. Yeah, Laura, just talk us through your goal, first of all. You know, 20 yards out, didn't have a lot of time to think about it, I suppose. It's probably a good thing, and that's just the way I like it, to be honest. You just, when the ball comes nicely for you, and then I just, the first thing I just think is just hit the target and thankfully win in. I think Gareth said at the start of the season that, you know, if, if you feel confident that, you know, the world's your oyster sort of thing. You know, how, how confident are you feeling now? Because you're getting a run of games, you're playing week in, week out, and you're an important player in the team. Yeah, I, I think every player is sort of a confidence player. I definitely am. And um, I think we've got such a good group here now, and every day we push each other, and you always go into the games knowing that the training has been super hard during the week and you feel prepared, and that really helps me. Uh, I need to be with good players around me to be at the top of my game and... Yeah, that's how I feel this year. So every game I go into, I just I know what my job is, I know what my role is, and I feel confident. <laughs> Amy, like the obviously there's a lot of different midfielders in the squad this year. Pretty, there's nothing that's very similar at all. I just wondered how that is for you, and whether you're picking different bits or from different players. Are you finding that experience? Yeah, it's good. We've got a lot of different type of midfielders, and it's good for the manager because he can, you know, just depending on the game, go with the, the team that he, he wants. Um, and, yeah, I'm always someone who's like looking to learn from others in training, what others do better than me that I can pick up. And I've had some great players here over the years to learn from, and I feel like this year um, it's helped me a lot come into my own, um, just taking little bits from everyone. You're kind of bouncing around roles sometimes as well in the field, whether it's deep or play further forward. How are you finding that and adapting each time? Yeah, it's good because you learn a lot in different roles and then what you learn from one role helps you adapt to a different role because you learn what other players want and expect of you. So, yeah, it's just constantly adapting and learning and, yeah, every game just knowing your job first and foremost and what other players need and will help Will help them around you so yeah it's good. and just on after that first ball went in what was the feeling like on the pitch because it felt like the floodgates kind of opened for you there there's a lot more space but how, how did it kind of come about yeah i think that's always a way for us it takes sometimes a little while to just relax and get the first goal and then after that it's just like yeah the floodgates open um it's a shame we didn't get more second half i thought um it was definitely there for the taking say to up our goal goal difference a little bit um, but yeah, once once we've scored one, we do turn into a very relaxed team. Um, hi. Obviously, a really big game coming up now. So, how much confidence does it give you off the back of this game tonight? Yeah, definitely. I, 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 we don't really think about that game too much. Obviously, we've got Liverpool before that, but um, we, we're so fired up for next week and being at the Etihad, and we really want to put on a good performance. So I just think this week, com coming off a win, we're going to put in a great week on the training pitch. And you know what? We're just going in with one fort this week, and that's two wins from two games. Thank you. Um, I'm just wondering, at half-time, you've gone in, you've dominated for 3 0 What what said to you at half-time at that point? Is it like, right, we're working on some specifics, or are we still pushing? Yeah, Gaz was actually that happy at half-time. <laughs> he he um, came in and said that, we need to be scoring more goals. Um, we were giving the ball away some cheaply at times, and he's quite critical. But it's a good thing for us, um, you know, keep our feet on the ground. And he wanted us to come out and score more goals. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. But <laughs> that was the aim. It's like uh, just going back out. It's nil nil. Something. Yeah, yeah. He's not really satisfied. Thank you. Any other questions, guys? Is it going to be a bit difficult to approach a cup game on Wednesday with such a big game after it? Do you, as a player, do you have one eye looking at next Sunday? I don't know because today I, none of us were thinking about it. We weren't thinking about Wednesday at all today. So I think Liverpool pose a, a completely different threat. They're, they're a different team this year. They came here and played really well. So I think we'll be have to be fully in that game to get a result. As a player, would you prefer to have? a whole week in training rather than it be disrupted by a game ahead of a derby, um, probably one of the biggest games of the season? No, I think every player just wants game after game. 
every every other day would be perfect. <laughs> would you say it's a really good way to build momentum to yeah. for Eagle today and take it into the Liverpool game? Yeah, definitely. And they're probably a, a similar type of team, like to counter, live for set pieces, so it's it's good prep for us.